This short video is to provide an overview of the work carried out by the DCU Another Six project that was conducted as part of the SATL 2020 fund provided by the National Forum. The principal investigators in this project were Makassam Al Haji Ali, Mark Glynn, and Rob Lowney. The strategic focus of this funding call was transforming teaching and learning for student success. For this project, we focused on learning analytics and how we could enhance student success through creating, analysing and reflecting on learning analytics reports. The overarching goal of this project was to examine data available through the VLE, the virtual learning environment, and to help us evaluate and improve staff and student engagement with the VLE. This data is then used to implement changes to the current processes and also to provide CPD activities to enhance the quality of the assessment and engagement with our programmes on the VLE. This project can be clearly divided into three distinct parts. Firstly, enhancing the VLE by adding additional reporting functionality through the addition of publicly available Moodle plugins and also the development of our own Moodle plugins. Secondly, we wanted to create reports to help extract key data from the VLE. Finally, we introduced a learning analytics initiative to enhance language learning. Each one of these standalone parts were purposely structured to measure staff and student engagement. Starting with enhancing the VLE. We enhanced the VLE with four plugins. These are additional extra functionality that is provided to the standard VLE. The first one involved installing a commercial analytics plugin which has over 100 different analytic reports. We knew that the license fee for the use of this plugin beyond the lifetime of this project would not be sustainable. Therefore, we installed a second plugin, and this is called the Configurable Reports. This allowed us to build our own reports, and we were able to use the reports from the first plugin as inspiration for reports that we would build ourselves. The turret plugin is something that we actually did build ourselves in another project and this plugin allowed us to build the capability for students to perform self-assessment of their skills and their competencies within particular modules. This plugin allows staff and students to collate the results from all of these various self-assessments and create a holistic view for themselves of the students' competencies. The fourth plugin and the final plugin was installing a plugin that was publicly available through the Moodle community. Through this project, and that's called the attendance plugin, and through this project, we made improvements to the functionality to enable staff to easily monitor classroom attendance so they can integrate that data into any student engagement research that they are conducting within their modules. The next stage was doing some rebuilding behind the scenes. Because before we could get any meaningful reports on student and staff engagement, we needed to rebuild the back end of our VLE and structure it into different sections. This allowed us to build reports on each section. And if we use the analogy of folders, we created a folder for each faculty, a subfolder for each academic year. And indeed, within this subfolder, we created more folders for each individual school. Once the structure was in place, we retrospectively moved courses from previous years into the appropriate folder. And the end result now is that we can pull reports on the current year as well as the last three academic years, which allows us longitudinal analysis in addition to the analysis of the current courses. 
Furthermore, we added the program name and the academic year to the student profile. This is important because it made a big improvement to our reports. We were able to filter data based on the program year and indeed the program name and the academic year. And the final thing we did in terms of our rebuild is we enhanced the staff Moodle roles to reflect our actual positions. And this gave us more transparency for, uh, for our reports and also enabled us to enhance our CPD program by improving the communication channels to specific staff through this, uh, the VLE. So that was the rebuild behind the scenes that needed to take place. After installing the open source uh, reporting plugins, the configurable reports, we then set up building our own reports. Over the course of the project, we built over 15 different reports. And to give you an indication of some of the type of information that we, and the use of these reports, here are three such reports. We provide a course template for every module page on Moodle. And this template consists of numerous features that promote universal design. While we provide this template, we could not ensure the extent to which it was adopted by staff. We now have a report that analyzes each element of this template and this report helps us specifically target schools and faculties with CPD relating to universal design for learning and good design practice. The second report allows us to identify what features are being used and indeed what features are not being used by staff, which in turn allows us to identify expertise and case studies from across the university, which we use to inform our staff development. The last report is the assessment of learning goals or assurance of learning goals. And this is a faculty specific report used to support the collation of data required for accreditation for a professional body. We brought existing processes into the VLE, streamlined them, and then used this analytics report to extract the data, the relevant data for this professional body. So that is for the assessment or the assurance of learning goals. And this brings us to the last part and the project. The first two parts of the project had staff and student engagement applications across the university, whereas this last element focuses on language learning with a, a particular project which we called L2 Learning. This project primarily funded through SFI with additional funding provided through this SATL project was developed by DCU staff to support second language learning. That's where L2 comes in. It was uh, to support DCU students, but also seven partnering institutions by providing an analysis of their conversation exercises with their peers based on audio transcription provided by Zoom. This project encouraged students to engage in their language learning by providing visual representations of their um, engagement by monitoring <coughs> conversation flow and as you will see from the screenshot, um, <clears throat> and again, the faces are blurred out, but it shows you who's talking to who and how much of the conversation that they're leading. Um, we also have looked at the conversation share, so who's talking the most. And then finally, we gave the students the, the ability to play back the videos to see where their engagement is. So these exercises, um, helps the student engage with their language learning at their leisure, independent of the lecture. By asking the students to reflect on this exercise, again, we built in the use of e-portfolios within this project. So there are the three elements of the project. So now I want to talk about impact and sustainability of what we've done. Because we've built our own reports with this plugin, it means that the work is sustainable beyond the lifetime of the project.
but it's not just the reports being available after the project it's the impact that they'll make going forward the reports that we've created will directly inform our cpd activities in the future so we'll have significant impact in fact they've already helped us to streamline our processes for example before this work we spent two weeks manually analyzing a sample of 300 modules across the university to get an indication as to whether our course pages were accessible or not. Now, in a matter of minutes, we can analyze over 2,500 modules um, to examine how accessible all of our modules are. So, giving this complete comprehensive picture in a more efficient manner. Equally, we can analyze all of the modules on how staff are using the VLE in the same time frame. Again, speaking about impact, the report that I mentioned earlier on for the professional body accreditation, it's estimated that this saves staff up to 500 hours for one faculty for a per academic year. Another report that we've created is to design to support external examiners to streamline their work. And this report collates sample continuous assessment submissions from all of the modules across the entire programme and collating the assignments and the feedback provided by the lecturers into one place. And after a trial this semester with six programmes, it's been rolled out to every programme across the university. And finally, the L2L initiative, the Language Learning Initiative. This involves DCU and seven other partner universities across five different countries with over 500 participants. So the impact has been enormous and the feedback from the students has been tremendously positive with significant improvement in student engagement. So whether we are talking about adding in plugins and the advantage that we've done or whether we're talking about the reports that we've generated or the cpd and the individual class activities that we're doing each one of them have been incredibly impactful and each one of them now are sustainable and an important point to note with regards to the reports that i mentioned that i started this conversation with these have since been made available to all Moodle users worldwide so I expect that the legacy of this project will long continue after the funding has run out. A huge thank you for providing this funding um, to the National Forum to facilitate these enhancements and they will definitely contribute to student success. If you would like more information on any element of this project, please visit the Teaching Enhancement Unit's webpage within DCU or indeed contact me directly, mark.glynn at dcu.ie.